we you definitely seen some really good stuff from this team like the last few few weeks and then that's having only like a few games to get the team back together like obviously it's been a rough ride until then like you thought the guys with low confidence and not really any young guys in the lineup coming in and playing and they been creeping into lineup here the last couple of weeks and been playing really well and that's what you, you need if you're going to be successful in this league you look at the teams that are doing some big damage you always have those young guys coming up and filling up and uh, making a contribution and that's what we we need from this team and as i said we we've been fortunate to have a great staff here to draft some really good young kids and so the f future looks bright that way how, how different of a feeling uh, is it going to be to not be playing this week not be playing on wednesday or whatever well, it's the first time since I was 16 I'm not playing any any like kind of playoff game so obviously it's it's different it's not a feeling that I that I enjoy and like and I think it's just gonna be a little extra motivation to work extra hard in the summer and come come back with a bang and as I said we were definitely one of those teams in this league in this position that we have so much more potential so I can definitely see us make a make a 180 and come back next year yeah, but the, the differences defensively, especially over the last six, eight weeks, were stark from what happened earlier in the season. What were some of the key changes that were made after Bob stepped behind the bench that helped you guys take drastic steps forward defensively? I think we started to play a defensive zone where you, you work as a five-man unit. Before, it was a little bit more chasing, more man-man, and if something breaks down, you don't really have anyone to cover for you. You, you need to work work out there as a group of five because obviously you know in this league there's so many good players it's always going to be breakdown so you want want to be there to help each other and i still think there's some small things we can improve but overall like we it was a huge change for us and in, in for the better what will you remember most from this season um Personally, for me, I think I took a step in the right direction. I just felt felt stronger, more better with the puck, like held onto it, and obviously the point production. Well, if you look at everyone on our team, it's we we score like almost the lowest goals in the league. So, can't really expect to be that you carry your high. But from my personal point, I I take that like just being confident with the puck and carrying it up and try to get more pucks on net, and that's something I can work on a lot more in the summer. You just touched on it a little bit, the excitement that this group has when those young guys are in. For you, how important was it to see some of them step in the lineup and find ways to contribute, whether on the score sheet or just providing solid minutes for this team? No, obviously that's huge. As I said, and we're, we're really fortunate this team here. As I said, we've been drafting well for the last few years here, so we we got a good young group of D. We got some some talented goalies, and we get we get some core guys that have been really good and all, always so good on our team. And then we get those young guys coming, filling up. So it's just it's about getting the pieces into place. And as I said, you you look at some teams, and you're like, oh wow, how how can that guy be that good? He wasn't that good there. That, I think that's something we need on this yeah. team. We need we need to next year be a team that we're, we're other teams looking like, oh, wow, they're really like outperforming. But it's it's more from a standpoint that we get in and we play with confidence and we we just get the best out of everyone and like squeeze out a little bit of that extra. Because if you want to win in this league, that's what you need to do. Are you done for the year? Are you gonna go World Championships or? Uh, I, I really wanted to go play World Championships, but I've had some uh, some hip issues. That's why I missed some games earlier this year. So I'm going to have to go and uh, take a closer look at that and just hopefully it's not too bad of a fix and then uh, get the kids ready for next season and really load up for, for next year. Maybe just put your feet up and sit on the beach for a bit. Yeah, right. That might that might heal it. Get some some of the Cali Cali sun on it, right? Yeah. No, I probably have to do a little something, but it's not going to be too bad. I hope so. No, it's just excited for for next season. Obviously, it's it's tough the way it ended, but it's uh, it's a learning learning curve for all of us. Oh, so you're expecting a minor procedure? Uh, I have to talk to docs and stuff, but. As I said, it's just been like a little issue. So I think it's more about me, uh, me resting, really giving the recovery that I needed. It's during a hockey season in the, the National Hockey League. You don't really get that much rest. So.